We can never put it into words the way we feel, even right now sitting here. There's a lot of depression and stress. The provincial and federal governments agreed last year to a $90 million settlement. The money will go to individuals in four First Nations. The communities flooded after the Manitoba government diverted water from the Assiniboine River into Lake Manitoba to prevent flooding in Winnipeg. As Karen Pauls tells us, many of those who were hardest hit are still not able to return home. It's been nearly seven years of living as an evacuee, but Muriel Woodford finally has a new house on reserve, where life is a little quieter than downtown Winnipeg. The addictions, drugs, alcohol, and the dangers of living in Winnipeg. But after dreaming of home for so long, it's not quite what Woodford expected. So the water in that tap, where does that come from? from the water tank outside. And can you drink this water? No. Water is trucked in, sewage trucked out, but... We only have two water trucks and two septic trucks. Still, these are the lucky ones. 2,000 other people are still living in hotels and apartments in Winnipeg. It's costing the federal government $1.6 million every month to cover those expenses. Total cost of the evacuation so far, $175 million. The provincial and federal governments have not admitted wrongdoing for diverting the water that flooded for First Nations. But they have agreed to pay $90 million in compensation. About 7,600 band members are eligible. Depending on how many opt in, adults affected the most could get up to $67,000 each. They can finally start over again and that's, they've been waiting for that opportunity to just put this behind them and, and move on. But one of the original plaintiffs in this class action suit says the compensation comes too late for too many evacuees. Just today another elder from Malik and Martin passed on here in, in Winnipeg and he's never going to, to see anything or enjoy the benefits of this uh, decision. Still today it affects all of us. Muriel Woodford welcomes the compensation, but she says so much of what was lost can never be replaced. Karen Pauls, CBC News, Little Saskatchewan First Nation, Manitoba.